Allison again and I'm back in the kitchen and today we are going to be doing some gardening and I bet you're wondering why would I go in the kitchen for some gardening and that's because today we are going to be doing something called kitchen scrap gardening also known as zombie gardening so that means taking scraps that you have from your kitchen while you're cooking and using it to regrow different plants so today we're going to be regrowing two things and uh, the first thing being the green onions and then the second thing we're going to be regrowing a potato so the first thing i'm going to be regrowing today are the green onions also known as scallions green onions are part of the allium family which includes garlic onions leeks and shallots and so all of those things can be regrown using the roots so here i have my green onions and I'm going to cut off just the roots. These are the roots of the green onions and you can see these little hairs which are the roots of the green onions. The rest of the green onions I will be using for cooking and I'm actually gonna be making a stir fry today so I'll be using that in the stir fry. With these roots, you are going to be regrowing the green onions so that it, it will grow again. So you're gonna put them in either a small jar or a small cup. I have this little cup here, which I've been using to regrow the onions. So I am going to add a little bit of water, which I already did already, and put the roots of the green onions in here so that the roots can be submerged in water, just like this as you can see here. And you're going to leave the green onions in the water for about three to four days and watch it as the roots start to regrow. About four days ago, I went ahead and did this earlier to show you guys what the progress will look like. So these were green onions that I've been in the water for about four days. And you can already see that they're regrowing and they have new roots. So once you have the green onions that look like this and start to have new roots, you are going to plant them in some soil. So here I have an old yogurt container that I saved and I washed it out and added a few little holes on the bottom so that water can escape. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting the green onions in the soil so that it will regrow. And it's super easy, you're just gonna make a little hole. It can be any container you have. I just happen to be reusing a yogurt container, but you can use like a pot or um, you know, some sort of plastic container as well. And you're just gonna make a little hole to cover the roots. So as you can see, I have the green onion roots planted in the soil. And I'm going to be adding just a little bit of water to make sure that the soil is moist and just make sure to put it in a sunny spot. I have a balcony outside that gets a lot of sun. So I'm going to put it out in the balcony so the green onions will grow really big. So as you can see, it's super easy to regrow alliums. So this is an example of regrowing green onions. All you need to do is cut off the roots at the bottom of the plants, um, put it in a little bit of water for a few days to make sure it gets water, um, and watch the roots regrow, and then you can put it in a little bit of soil, put it outside in the sun, and watch it grow. I've actually been regrowing green onions on my balcony for a few weeks now, and it's going really, really well. I actually have too many green onions that I can actually use, so I'm super excited to be showing you guys how to do this at home. So the next thing that we're gonna be regrowing today are the potatoes. And a fun fact about potatoes is that they're actually considered tubers, not root vegetables. And tubers are jicama, cassava, and taro those are some examples of tubers the first thing that you want to do is you want to get a potato that has an eye and an eye has a little sprout popping out of the potato like this as you can and you want to cut it in half and make sure that both halves have at least one eye so as i can see there's a few eyes on both sides so i'm just going to cut it like this and then you're gonna put these potatoes overnight on your counter so that it'll dry up. 
I did this yesterday already. So these ones have been sitting out for a few days. Um, and so they're all dried up and ready to plant. So because I have a smaller container, because I have a balcony garden, I think I will only be able to plant one of the eyes in this container because potatoes can grow really, really big and they need a lot of space. Um, and so you need to make sure that you have a container that is 12 inches tall, which this one is. So what I'll be doing is I'll be planting this piece of potato with the eyes looking up like this. So I'm gonna make a hole for the potatoes to go in and we are going to put in the potato piece with the eyes up and we're gonna cover it up with a little bit of soil. And of course, I'm going to water the soil to make sure it has enough water. And hopefully in the next 30 days, some sprouts will pop up out of the soil and the potatoes will be ready to grow in about three months. So as you can see, it's super easy to garden at home with limited space. So all I have for outdoor space is my balcony, but I'm still able to use it for gardening. So I've been able to get a few plastic pots as well as some soil, and it's not very expensive either. A small bag of potting soil is about $5, and you can also get very inexpensive pots for about five or $6 as well. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my kitchen scrap video. As you can see, it's super easy. All you need is some sort of container, a little bit of soil, and some food scraps. I also wanted to thank Miss Dossler from ICS for giving me this idea. And I will see you guys all next time for another video with Miss Allison. Bye everyone.